SGVids here. Today's episode, I'm going to show you guys a great little spot where we can get unlimited sockeye salmon. And if you do want to come on over here, you're going to want to come to this exact point. I'll zoom in and out so you can see exactly where I am. I'm just across from Wallace Station, very close to the Valentine Butcher, so we can run back and forth, no problem. So what you're going to want to do is take out your fishing pole, of course. You're going to want to put on the river lure, or special river lure, completely up to you. And just bring these fish in back to back. Now some people have some speedy methods of fishing. I personally just do the old fashioned reeling in. I usually just use both joysticks and they come in fairly quick. But you guys can bring the fish in any which way you want to. It is completely up to you, but I like to reel them in just so I can kind of do something. Some people just run backwards with the fish and drag them in. Oh, sorry, that's where I was cutting because I forgot to put my map on there for you guys. So I would cut that out so I could bring it in there closer for you. Just in case you, if you don't want to listen to me bibble babble, then uh, you can see where it is and go right there for yourselves and stop watching. But there's tons of little fish in here too. So what I was doing, I was just going for the sockeye, and once the sockeye ran dry, I just switched over to the old spinner lure, and, uh, come on, fishies. Anyways, I was just, I just switched on over to the old special lure there. I'm trying not to cast so far, I'm trying to attract them in, but it's kind of a waste of my time. I figure I might as well just continue casting. And to be all honest with you, it's kind of hard to choose how far you want to go with that stupid joystick. You try not to hold it down for too long so you don't blast it all the way out there, but... Either way, just drag the fish in. Oh, here comes one. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Let's play with this guy for a minute. But anyways, just bring on all these guys. These guys are worth $2.50 a piece. You can collect ten of them. Um, unfortunately, this method, you can only uh, harvest the 10, plus if you break them down, you can get another $4 that way. But basically, um, what you have in your pocket is what you have. You can't stop on these ones or shoot them to lower their quality. But between the sockeye and the little perchies that we're going to get later, um, they are... you can make pretty good little money here, actually. Now again, if you want to reel them in or run away, I'm always fishing off a rock, so I tend to just reel them in. But if you use two both, both joysticks and just circle them both ways, at the same time, they actually come in very quickly. You may look kind of silly because your rod's just a flick and a wreck and all around. But you get the fish in a little bit quicker, and uh, you don't have to stay here for as long. I personally like fishing. I love fishing, actually. I have a Sunday morning fishing show that I've made from this game. Um, I, I love fishing in real life. So me fishing here and taking my time really doesn't affect me any. I like doing it. But for the people that are just obviously in it for the money, um, they want the quickest way possible. So this method may not necessarily be for you, but this spot is a beautiful little spot, and there's fish every other cast. And you can just you can fill up the satchel fairly quick. Uh, I haven't edited anything besides the little map part there, but obviously it didn't change anything. And my video is not going to be very long, so... I'm basically just going to play it out and let you guys see how long it actually takes me to acquire all these fish. Like I said, once it <clears throat> once it dries up, if it does, or you just can't fit any more fish into your satchel, that's when you just want to switch over to the special spinner, and that way you can load up on the smaller fish that are in here as well, which are going to be about perch and rock bass. I've gotten a fair amount. I'm not exactly sure how many I've gotten, but I've gotten at least five or six so far, and... It's been about four minutes or so. Now that's not too bad. Now between some of the glitches and ex exploits, you know, when your carcass fishing, you're standing there for 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes. So to be all honest with you guys, uh, fishing with the rod 
is probably just as efficient. Carcass fishing was a little bit better because you could just put your controller down and let the game work for you. This way you do have to work, but I personally like working on the game. That's kind of the purpose of the game. So I'm just going to do a couple more casts here with this river lure. And then we'll switch over to... And again, if you're using the special river lure, it does increase the chances of catching the fish as well. So you might uh, tend to be able to fill up the satchel even quicker if you're using the special river lure. I personally don't really find too much of a difference between the two, so... I just kind of land. Whatever I land on is what I usually use. Just make sure it is a river lure, though. You don't want to use a lake lure in here. You won't get much. I got another cast out here. And it's good to move around a little bit, too, because uh, the fish tend to get spooked if you... Uh, especially if you hit the R2 button too many times during a reel. You tend to spook them away from you, and then you have to start all over. So make sure you don't do that too often. My general rule of thumb for that, I basically try to only do it one per cast. And if I do it twice, then it's going to be a separated twice. Don't do them back to back. Because that way you'll spook all the fish away from you, and you'll have to wait a little bit before they get attracted back in. But see, as you see here, it looks like the sockeyes are drying up on me a little bit. So, I think after this one, I'm just going to try and we'll put on the special river lure. I mean, sorry, the special spinner. And with that, we should be able to land a few more little guys. And that way we can not leave here with just a $25 worth of sockeye. But we can also grab the another $10 off of the perch. And uh, roughly about another eight or so dollars off the rock bass. And there's tons of tons of little fish in here. The little guys are back to back, another, and they come in super quick. There is no fight whatsoever. So we here we got a little rock bass, seventy-five cents. get that thing back out there. The special spinners actually, I never really used it before and people within my comments actually told me that it's a pretty little handy tool there and since I've started been using it you bring in these little guys super fast and you can fill up your satchel really quick with it. So if you guys don't have it, I know there I think there's still a way to get it for free, I can't remember anymore. But either way, just go to the bait shop and buy it. It's not expensive, and if you're not at the rank yet, just use a little bit of gold, because that's pretty much all you have gold for anyways, is fishing poles or making your guns gold. But there's no other purpose to have gold on this game. I literally have not spent any gold besides on my fishing lures at the start of the game. I don't really try to acquire gold as well, because there's not really much of a point for it. Ooh, here we go, what do we got? Nice little perch. I love perch jerking. I hope this show doesn't turn into my Sunday morning fishing show here. Whenever I fish, though, that's all I can think about is try to make an episode for my show. If you guys haven't seen that, though, I really highly suggest you go and check it out within my channel there, because it is uh, it's a good time. I get a little bit wacky, and I completely change myself. It's like a character I run, but... It's super fun, and uh, a lot of people enjoy it, so you guys might as well if you have not seen it. Make sure you go and comment there and say hi to me. I try to comment back on everyone, guys. That way, uh, I like to communicate with you guys out there. You're the reason why the things go round and round, so why wouldn't I communicate with you? I'm not like one of those YouTubers who uh, just upload a video and then, you know, never speak to anybody on it. So, I'm definitely always willing to talk to you guys. But anyways, guys, I'm going to continue fishing here. I really hope you like this little spot and uh, can help you out, make a few bucks. It's super close to the butchers there. But anyways, guys, please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.